natural selection can be studied by studying a given population now in a population when you have to study or when you are studying it you tend to see two different categories of organism some being inferior in variety some being superior in variety some others are in between these varieties now when the nature bestows its resources it gives in a very limited number or limited amount so limited resource is given to both these organisms out of these limited resource for its own survival for its own existence both inferior and superior variety uh, conducts a competition there is a competition between them so some of them gets diminished wiped out extinct while some others are more superior and more flourished kind it comes out so here is where we understand survival of fittest so assuming here the superior variety is more survivally fit and is been selected by nature they get reproductive advantage so when they have got reproductive advantage they lead and form new species so the process of speciation has set in so when new species are formed we tend to see how the evolution is setting in how how the disbalance in nature is going to form now see let's take one example darwin explained about finches finches are small black birds which are present in galapagos island when darwin observed he observed about 20 different varieties of finches out of that we are just going to consider three varieties for our understanding we have say some finches which have very weak beak and some others might have strong beak and some others might have very very strong beak now when i say these kind of beak system it also depends on the food habit assuming weak beak uh, organisms were eating say fruits that's why it did not require uh, much uh, very uh, much strong beak strong beak ones were eating fresh seeds and uh, say very strong beak were eating uh, seeds with a hard coating uh, stale or uh, like you know a very mature seed i would say so they require very strong ones so now if we want to plot a graph and uh, look at this picture how it would be now say we have weak beak types put in this point of x axis strong beak at this point and very strong beak at this point now when we are uh, understanding that these are in a balanced form i don't require very weak types or i don't require a very strong type and i am having the in between in median uh, form or the mean value as the most stabilized form then we call that kind of natural selection as a stabilizing type so if you see here it is stabilized i am not having very very strong ones or very weak ones no there is no weak beak much in number but strong beak you can see it is at a peak and a very strong beak is also less in number but now con uh, consider a case 2 now there is a very uh, drought condition or a, a winter season in these regions and they are not getting enough amount of fruits production or uh, fresh seeds are not being formed what happens weak beak strong beak and very strong beak now this is how it is now what you understand is because of the climatic changes there is a directional change of the number of organism flourishing say for example just giving you instance if i had say one weak beak type of bird i had say 10 small uh, strong beak type of bird and say i had one very strong beak type of bird in stabilizing weathers 
here I have one weak beak here I might have three strong beaks but now I am having around seven very strong beak so now the numbers are increasing in one direction but there could be another case which we could be understanding that is in terms of disruptive so we have understood stabilizing we have understood directional let's understand disruptive type of uh, variety now for disruptive type of variety i'll take you uh, take another example let's consider duck now ducks also have variety of beak shape some might have large beak some might have a medium sized beak and some might have small beak assuming large beak uh, ducks consume food from deep lakes and medium sized beak took uh, or, or consume food from in between the depths of the lake in between okay not very deep not shallow and small beak consume food from the upper surface so surface of the lake in such a scenario what should be happening so assuming again uh, that we are going to keep it as large beak say here i will put it first large beak medium sized beak and small beak so if it was stabilizing we consider that uh, large beaks are less in number medium beaks are highest in number and small beaks are less in number but now assume there is a dry weather summer season the lake size which was supposed to be de deep has reduced when there is a reduction surface exists depth exists in between this area is reduced so when in between area is reduced medium sized beak ducks cannot consume food so what happens large beak medium beak and small beak this should have been the condition of stabilizing like this and medium beak should have been more but since the waters are drying and in between water is lesser large beak consumes from deep inside water small beak consumes food from surface of the water the dying out type or the extincting type is the median beak this type of natural selection is called as disruptive type of natural selection